Welcome Pisces. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that we can help you with using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards and the Muse Tarot and Shadow Healing. Just about fell out of my hands there. Okay, so let's have a little look-see for you Pisces. What is going on? Sorry, then it's too many cards, or I only want one card. Oop. One card for Pisces, please. There we go. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, this is a cool card. Haven't had, haven't had this one yet. <laughs> it was hard to get out. Practice positivity. Very interesting. That's sort of a thing that I would imagine you do quite naturally, actually, Pisces. Um but this is practice positivity. You know, this Pisces can be, you know, about this vibration that we emanate out, right? Um, that what comes back to us is what we're putting out there. So be aware of that. If there's things that are coming back to you or things that are around you that are quite negative, what is it that you're putting out there that is potentially attracting those things in, okay? It could also be that there's a situation in your life which is tough to deal with at the moment. And um, and I suppose it's just looking for the good things in, in your life, okay? Just to kind of balance out um, the things that aren't going so well because there are things that can happen like I mean I know we talk about manifestation and stuff like that but sometimes stuff happens and it's not necessarily you know that we've put that out there but you know it can be also but really about how we deal with that along the way okay um so yeah and I feel like sometimes it's a matter of just going with the flow and um, allowing the wind to take us in the direction that we meant to go in, okay? Because it might look different than what we had initially, you know, that direction may be different than what we initially planned, um, but sometimes it's necessary for us to go in that direction. It's just not always clear in the moment as to why we're going in that direction, okay? So just give me more about, tell me more about practice positivity for Pisces, please. Cute. What have we got here? The four of materials, okay. <sighs> Keeping things to yourself. Pisces, keeping things to yourself. There's something inside of you that you're not letting go of. I feel like it's on an emotional level. Even though it's materials, I feel like in this case, this is emotionally. Okay. Um, and you know what though, Pisces? It could be that there's something that you need to share. Um, whether it's emotionally or materialistically, there's something that you need to share and some of you do not want to. Okay, um, so I think it's really about looking at the positive side of that. You know, if, say, it's something you need to share on a material level, um, that you look at all the positive things that have led to that, okay? Um, and, if you know, because if you're meant to share it, obviously it's with another person. So it could be a matter of looking at all the positive things that person did. Okay, um, some of you may only be focusing on the negative side of things and oh, th what this is going to do to me. If this is emotional, um, I feel like you can bring the negative, if it's, if it's something negative that you're holding on to, well, not negative, that's the wrong word. It's more um, an emotion that, 
causes you to become vulnerable, um, if it's something along those lines, positivity is going to help balance that for you. Okay, because some of you may have this thing of like, well, I don't want to dwell on that because that's just negative and I don't want to attract anything bad into my life. But it's not about that, okay? Um, so, yeah, very interesting. And we have the Knight of Voices as well. I like this. Um... This, I feel like, is you needing to be realistic um, and sort of see things for how they really are. I also feel like this could be about you seeing things from another perspective, okay? Um, and being honest, actually. Being honest, not just with those around you, but with yourself. Being honest with yourself. Yeah. I feel like this is something that you're learning to do. Um, and because it's like this Pegasus here is flying, but I feel like there's this feeling of being a bit wobbly on it. And so this could still be something that you are learning to do. Okay. And, you know, that could even be seeing things from another perspective. That could be something that you're learning to do. Mm. Transform anger. Okay, so is this the emotion that you're holding back on? And I feel like the kite represents anger. And it's sort of like if I just hold on to it tight enough and put it behind me and pretend it doesn't exist, then it's not going to rear its ugly head. But what you don't realise is that you're actually embodied by it because I feel like the red dress here is representing the anger. And it's kind of like blaming in a sense. It's like, well, if the kite, if I don't fly the kite, this outside force from yourself, then it's not going to occur that the anger is actually part of you because it's a natural emotion that all of us feel, okay? Um, and I feel as though this is something that you really need to be aware of. It's kind of like you can fly the kite. It's not an issue because that's not where the anger resides, right? So tell me more about transform anger. And, you know, this is about you bringing up this anger that is there. You, you know, it's often the case that we see anger as a really negative thing, okay? And um, I just wonder if this practice positi positivity is about you bearing that anger. Maybe you've been practicing positivity to bury the anger, and it could actually be false because this picture here is not nothing and it looks real. Right? So maybe that's what it is about. <laughs> yeah. There's anger within you, suppressed anger. That needs to be transformed. Yeah, that could be the case. Very interesting. Seven of Voices. Mm. Love this. Love this. This is about finding, you know, finding ways like different, trying out different um, tactics to see what works for you with the anger. Okay, because um, it's really important for you to release it. And the fact of the matter is that we can... Um, yeah, you know, I know for myself, look, anger has always been a dangerous thing because whenever I've experienced anger from other people, it's been dangerous. Dangerous? Dangerous. Um, so, you know, and as a kid, we were brought up, no, 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 smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. That's what we were taught, right? Don't express your anger. Just be, be happy. Don't do this, don't do that. Like, there's never, I don't think... Who has actually learned to express anger in a positive way? You know, so um, 
you know, and the thing is that anger is necessary. It is a positive emotion. For example, like if we create a boundary and someone crosses over that, like, you know, say I have a boundary where if someone comes too close for me, that's out of my you know the overstepping the mark and I need them to back off that it's okay to go do you know what out no that's not cool for you to be here you know and um and and become a little bit angry about that to get them to back off okay so that's okay nothing wrong with that right because it's about you actually honoring that boundary it doesn't mean I need to smack them in the head not going to do that but it's really you know letting people know this is my boundary here and it's not going to be crossed okay so this is healthy anger okay so when we've experienced um unhealthy anger all our lives we don't know how to deal with that so this is where it's really important for you to learn how to transform that okay and one of these ways is to bring it up and look at it okay we've got the seven of voices so this is different ways that you could be looking at dealing with that anger, okay, trying different things out, right, um, you know, there could be different things that you are angry about, different circumstances, you could have many aspects of being angry because of different things that have happened throughout your life, okay, um, I feel like this is you down here and you potentially may feel like this is how big the anger is in, with, in you, okay, and um, and you don't want to unleash it because if you do, you are going to be seen as a bad person. It makes you vulnerable because there's been this sort of person or this way of being that you've projected for a really long time, right? And bringing out this anger may strip you of all of that. You know, and like I say, this is not about you going out and unleashing this anger on everyone around you. But it is about um, you being honest with yourself about what lays within and, and actually addressing it. Okay, so let's have a look here for Pisces. Well, let's have a look. What else have we got for Pisces, please? Examine your integrity. Oh man, Pisces, this is really cool. Examine your integrity. You see, you know, in order to be authentic, Pisces, um, this is, and you know, if you want to say, okay, I want to be authentic, I want to be real, for example, I want to be true to who I am and bring that out and live my life from that space, and yet you're suppressing anger or these certain emotions that you're suppressing, and we'll talk about anger because this is what has come up, okay, um, then it, you're not really living authentically. Um, because what's happening here is this, um, let me just decipher this here, because I feel like this is you, this is you again putting on this sort of, and I don't mean this in a cruel way, I don't mean this in a mean way, because this is about you, you in your mind you're doing what you need to do, because the anger feels so out of control if you do unleash it or, or even look at it. You know, it feels overwhelming because it's been suppressed for so long that it, it it's just like, I, I don't even want to lift the lid on that box, man. But that's what I feel like there's lots of different aspects of that anger. So there could be a circumstance that happened that made you angry and that's, that's one in, instance. So that's created one type of anger that you can lift the lid on. You know, you could look at the circumstance rather than the anger is an overall thing. Look at the each circumstance that made you angry and deal with those individually just to try and break it down, okay? Because, um, and this will then allow you to be completely honest. You know, this is you being honest with yourself. 
and this is something you can do in the privacy of your own home you know to to really look at that and be gentle and loving with yourself because I feel like what happens is you're really hard on yourself and actually maybe internally are quite negative towards this aspect of yourself because you don't want to look at it because it is so overwhelming Okay, um, yeah, so tell me more about examine your integrity for Pisces, please. Tell me more about this. The priestess. Yeah, see, look at this. She's hiding here. Right, not everything is seen. Not everything is revealed. And I feel like this is you keeping half of you hidden. There's only half of you that is coming out here. Okay, and um, just with her hand up here, I feel like this is stop. <laughs> um, yeah. Sort of like not wanting this to be revealed. And, you know, if you're still here in this reading, hats off to you because some people will click off. Because they don't want to even address this anger. It is. It's, it's not easy. You have to, you know, you have to be tough to deal with that. And, and I just feel like out of all the emotions that there is to experience, that this is actually the hardest, you know, for a lot of people because it is... It is so strong and it's overwhelming, you know. Um, and, and often behind anger or, or underneath anger is sadness and fear. You know, so these are also things that people don't want to look at, you know. Um, yeah, this vulnerability. It's, it's tough. Being vulnerable is tough because we have to put ourselves in, in harm's way in a sense being vulnerable, right? It's not an easy thing to do. So, yeah. Um, we've got the seven of inspiration here as well. This is definitely this internal battle going on inside of you, Pisces. There is no doubt about it. You want the light to shine through, but it's like you're forever having to push this darkness away. And it's tiring. I feel like you've had enough. It's, it's, it's exhausting. You know? And for some of you, it might it might be the case that you've done it for so long, you don't even realise how tired you are from doing this because you're so used to doing it, you know. We've got relief anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. This is all part of it, you know. This is you being anxious about, oh, gosh, you know, I can't do this particular thing or I can't be around this person because this could trigger me oh what if I get triggered what happens then what if I'm at work and someone really ticks me off and it makes me angry like you know there's all these sorts of things that is going on but you know anxiety could be an emotion that is underneath this anger for some of you you know there's all these sort aspects to it that um you know need to be need to be brought out for the light to be shone upon them because in order for the darkness right in order for the darkness to disappear the light needs to be shone on it okay so while it's overwhelming and it's scary i tell you what man you will be releasing a load when you do do it Okay, so tell me more about Relieve Anxiety for Pisces, please. Relieve Anxiety. And, you know, this is part of this thing, like, of, of Pisces having their rose-colored glasses on, right? Maybe this is part of that. Just putting that on so you don't have to actually look at what it is that is truly going on within you. Okay, so... Yeah, we have the nine of voices. So this is something that I feel sometimes really bugs you. 
it really bugs you in the sense of you it plays on your mind it plays on your mind some days more than others you know and you sort of like just need this rest from it that doesn't ever come okay and um this here this eight of inspiration i feel like this is the intensity of the anger because i feel as though that this it's here and it was I, I think this is your fear actually that or your anxiety about bringing it out that once you open that lid it's going to come out real quick and you're not going to be able to handle it but this is why i'm saying to you to um to you know just look at different aspects of it you know the different circumstances surrounding it so you can go through it bit by bit and the tenant inspiration has come up here and this is i feel representing that because each buffalo here has you know a pot of water and that the water represents the emotion right so in each pot is the same emotion yes but because of different circumstances. So this is why I say to work through the circumstance that created the, um, the emotion of anger rather than the entire thing itself, okay? And then as you do that, it, you know, it will release from out of this pot and so this won't become so overwhelming here, okay? So... We want two more cards for Pisces. I feel like the shuffling is needed on this one, Pisces. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Two more cards. Love it. One is not turned over, but this one is. And this is, you have support. Oh, I love this. You do have support. You can take the mask off. But see, this is the thing, right? This is what I love. And this is so representative of you, Pisces taking the mask off but still not really looking at what it is that needs to be looked at right um so yeah this is um i think this is really you needing to surround yourself with those who can support you okay if if you don't have those people around you there are services that are able to assist you okay um to help you safely release this anger if this is really such a problem for you, okay? Because I can tell you now, suppressing it only leads to more problems. Um, if not emotional problems, then physical. Because when we suppress any emotion, it stores in our body and it festers and it turns into dis-ease. Because we're not at ease. Okay, so... Get it dealt to because it's totally worth it. And, and the fact of the matter is, Pisces, you are worth it. This is the important thing for you to realize. You are worth it. And some of you don't feel like you are because you have this anger within you. But in fact, you are worth it. Okay, so tell me more about you have support for Pisces, please. Two cards. Excellent. Okay. Ten of voices. Oh, yes. Yes, this is oh, heavy. Heavy, heavy stuff. I just wonder if some of you have not felt supported before. It could be that for some of you, you've had that support. Um, but then you, because there wasn't, things weren't dealt with, that support, it, you lost it. um yeah but this 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 anger could be from absolute you know real 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 really heavy stuff has happened for you pisces and this could have created this anger right oh, but pisces the muse of emotions right this is this energy that you can embrace the king of emotions the king of cups knows how to deal with his emotions he knows what to do here. Yeah. Um, he, he, look at this. I love this. Look at these two here. It's sort of like what they're holding in their hand to me is anger. And they're just like, come here, anger. Let me give you a big smooch. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm not afraid of you. I'm going to love you. You know, and this is what self-love is about. Be clear on that. This is what self-love is about. When we talk about loving ourselves, this is it. Getting those ugly parts of ourselves 
bringing them out, looking at them and loving them. You know, loving them anyway. So, yeah. And the last card here is release fear. Release fear. The fear of the emotion, the fear of yourself. The fear of what other people might think or say or the judgments that you're afraid they'll lay upon you. Release fear. Tell me more about this, please. Release fear. The Hermit. Ace of Materials. I love this, Pisces. I love it. The Hermit. Look at this. See, this is the sun coming up and shining, shining the light on the direction for you to go in here, Pisces. Okay, there is a shelter that you can seek. There is help that you can get. You're not in it alone. I know that you might feel like you are. And yes, it is your journey, but you can get support on the way. It's up to you whether you'll accept it or not, though. It's all in your control and it's all in your power to release this. Do you want to? That's the million dollar question. Do you want to? The Ace of Materials. And this will lead to this whole new beginning for you. An amazing new beginning. A passionate beginning. One that you have only dreamt of, but never felt that you could have because of these suppressed emotions here. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is really cool here, Pisces. And I'm, look, I support you in this. And I just wonder if you'll support yourself in this, you know. So, yeah. We're going to look at the shadow healing now and see what comes out of here for you, Pisces. Three cards for Pisces, please. We've got shock. Don't know what that is because it's upside down. One more card for Pisces, please. Pisces. Don't know what that is either. So let's start with shock. Being alarmed at what is happening is a healthy response for your own self-preservation. You need to stay alert and watch for further signs so you can protect yourself. Oh, I like that. I've, and I just wonder if this being alarmed is like this, oh my gosh, I have to look at anger, or <laughs> actually seeing the anger, you know? Um, but yeah, staying alert so that you can see when it rises up and then, you know, maybe you can catch it and have some time with it and, and love it, you know? Um, yeah, be mused. It's one of those, I can't believe that just happened moments. Find the fun and stop shaking your head. No harm was intended. Interesting. You'll know how that applies in your life, Pisces. And we have darkness. As dark as it seems, it's your choice whether to stay shrouded in the abyss or cast aside the cloak and rejoin the others in the warmth of their light and energy. And that reminds me so much of this card. Um, yeah, and I'm just wondering if this being mused card is actually like you forgiving yourself for things, knowing that you didn't maybe, you know, if there's been instances where anger has come up and it's um, impacted people in a negative way, um, that you didn't really mean any harm. It was actually just that there was this suppressed anger there. Um, you know, and it's like that thing of, oh, I can't believe I just did that. I didn't mean to do that, you know. And so um, sort of forgiving yourself for that, okay, but also, I think the biggest sorry you can give is to change your actions and do the work that is required so it doesn't happen again. 
So if you want to say sorry to somebody about something that you've done, it's more meaningful when you do the work required to change. Okay, Pisces? So this is pretty huge here. This is not something that's just going to transpire over the next two weeks. This is a big journey. Um, but you know the beginning of that can happen right now. Okay, um, and it will not only make your life way better, but everyone else's around you, okay? And, you know, Pisces, if you don't have the support to help you with that, the first step is to seek out that support for yourself because that is what someone who um, is serious about taking care of themselves and everyone around them, that's what they would do, okay? Okay, Pisces, please be gentle with yourselves, okay? And take care of your beautiful selves as well. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.